Hey, what's going on, you sexy beasts, and welcome to Indieverse. It is your host, Rock, and here we are playing Switch or Die Trying. It's an interesting little game that I saw on Steam, and the concept behind it seemed pretty cool. You, I mean, it's not like it hasn't been done before, but it's always an interesting mechanic, I think. You pretty much switch sizes or switch forms. And it's doing a bunch of platforming. I guess it's supposed to be more of a lighthearted game, Meat Boy esque, um, if that's what you want to call it. I don't really, really know what you would want to call it. But anyway, let's get into the game. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, okay, so here we are, right into the game. We got a little time up there. Okay. So, um, before the title screen and stuff, the game does say that it is much better to be played with a gamepad. Which, um, I definitely believe a lot of games are better to play with the gamepad. Well, platformers in my opinion. Okay, so we finished the first level, which was Sleepy Eyes. Level complete, beat time, ink drop, okay, let's continue, we'll keep moving on, oh, what is this, okay, hold on, let's open this really quick, oh, this is the same thing, okay, let's not play the same level again, alright, and let's go back to this, okay, so that's pretty much the percentage, I thought there may have been another level in there, but it's not. It's just the percentage you get on that level. Okay. Huh. Oh, look at this. That's a pretty neat way of choosing what level you want to play. I can't... Okay, I was like, I can't land on No Fear. But we're on freaking level 2. Sunrise or... Sun... I didn't even look at the title. Something. Something that dealt with the sun. Alright, so we got some wall jumping. We got this letter A over here, but we did finish the level. I don't know what the A, the A means. The level's called Sunrise. Okay, I was right the first time. Let's continue. Then we got the next level. I don't know which one this is called. We got the sign, do not use movement controls while near a wall jumping. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what those drops do either. Okay, that one was called Wall Hopper. We, oh, we got the beat time. Okay, the ink drop is just something. And, and then we have a little kid screaming in our ear. <laughs> Switch from small eye to big eye. Switching gives you an extra jump. Okay, so that's what the switching does. Ah, it's pretty cool. I like that, I like that. We obviously didn't get the beat time. We were trying to figure out. But, okay, so we can't walk through that. So we got to hit some double jumping here. And we died. And we died again. 
Okay, there we go. Come on. I just kind of jumped against that just to see if I could. But that's actually really hard to tell. Like, that's something that you can actually do. The leap. Okay, we obviously didn't get the beat time. We took too long. We took a couple of took a couple of L's. Of course, we know how to get up here. We got to use our eye jump. Uh, maybe we do eye and then switch. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. I'm trying to put. <gasps> oh, you got a double jump. Oh. That got really loud. The music got really loud on that part. It's gonna scare somebody. Well, it scared me, I'll tell you that. Okay. So I thought this was gonna just be all fun and games, but yeah, here's I guess where the kind of Meat Boy-esque stuff comes in. Where like the platforming gets really hard. Obviously not as fast paced as something. And I, why do I keep doing that? Um, it's obviously not as fast paced as like something like Super Meat Boy, but you get the idea. Okay. Oh, you're supposed. I think you're. Can wait. Hold on. Let's see. I don't know if I can wall jump as big. I okay. I can. So that actually might be the thing that I'm supposed to do is switch jump. It's it's so hard. It's like not so hard. But it's so easy to forget something like that actually exists in the game. Not, well, I won't say exists, but, you know, when you're trying to get a feel for the game, you're so used to playing stuff, I guess, that you're not necessarily switching. That, that doesn't actually sound right coming out of the mouth. But how are we supposed to solve this thing? Oh, okay. It's getting a little tricky on us. All right. So we made that. Um, but like I was saying earlier, the, the switch mechanic the way it's implemented in this game, it is kind of weird because usually games with double jumps, you expect to press when you do a double jump, you know, if you're playing on an Xbox, you know, A twice, X twice on PlayStation, uh, same thing with Nintendo consoles, maybe A or B twice, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not the case here. It kind of, this game kind of makes his own rule with that. Oh my gosh. I actually don't know how I'm going to make that. We'll figure out. Um. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Wait a second. No, I can't make that. Okay, man. Okay. Maybe it's just easier to... Oh, and there we go again with the freaking loud switch. Oh, come on. All 
All right, we finally beat that level. Like I said, man, the double jump thing is kind of hard to get used to. Once you get used to it, I'm pretty sure this game will be a breeze. Um, it definitely, if you see like screenshots and stuff, it introduces new mechanics. Such as, uh, I saw like floor switching. I don't know if that's at will or not, and that freaking thing is moving fast. Oh man, you gotta get the delayed jumps in there too. Okay, you're gonna have to land on that little platform next to it. Okay. Holy crap. Alright, yeah, you gotta be speedy, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay, we don't have time to get that ink drop. You don't have time to do anything! Holy crap! Oh, come on! Dude, that freaking black goop, it starts moving. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, come on. All right, I'm gonna give this one good try. I'm gonna give it one good try and then I'm just gonna move on to the next level if. And I don't think this is gonna be. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one because I wanna show the, you know, as much of this game as I can. So Black Bath is pretty difficult level. So we're gonna move on to whatever this one, what? Okay, hold on. All right, all right, I got this. I got it, don't worry. We'll get the ink drop just because we can. That level was so much easier though. All right, let's continue on to the next one. Whoa, wait, whoa, what just, what just happened? What did I do? And I just ran right off the edge. I can't tell if one moves faster than the other. I think they both move at the same speed. Yeah, they do. Wow. Okay, I got that jump cleared. And I got that jump cleared. Man, some of these jumps are ridiculous. Alright, so we're, we got something new. Ah. Could've went a little higher with that one. I could have got that ink drop if I would have slid down a little a little more, but that's okay. We'll be fine.
Ah, too powerful of a jump. That is... You push off the wall so hard when you, uh... When you wall jump. And I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. And so was that. And so is my life. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. Just gotta kind of pee. Oh no. I knew I wasn't gonna make the jump to the other wall, and then I saw immediately that I was not going to survive the trip back either. So, like here, you kind of have to like peel off the wall. Like you can't jump. You have to like peel or press the opposite direction on the stick or uh, keyboard if you're uh, a keyboard player. Too strong of a jump. Okay. Last good. No, no. Okay. This one's the last good try. This one's the last good try. Oh. There we go. Alright, next level. What do we got? We can't jump on that. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, so every time I switch, it switches those platforms. So that's... The, so when you switch, the environment will switch too. Holy crap. We're starting to get a bit more complicated. That was totally lucky. I actually wasn't even paying attention to that platform. So like, the switch was perfectly timed. Okay, so we finished this book. Um, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we're 48% on that book. And we have adventure now. Oh, we got a nice change of music. get those results and move on okay what do we got here ever try pressing other buttons on your gamepad why <gasps> so we have a we have a weapon we can shoot I don't know what those are tears Okay, that's a piece of glass, or that's something that only tears can go through. Okay, we have to figure... No, we don't. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we actually want to shoot those if we want to get this. Oh, 
Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got switching blocks here now. Okay, okay. How are we gonna do this? Okay. We can't shoot up either. So no, we actually have to go across. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make it on top of the block. Okay. No, stupid mistake. All right, one good try. Nope. All right, last, last one, last one. Okay, okay. I don't know if we're gonna make that jump. Okay, okay, we did it, we did it. Oh no. Yeah, there's no way you can make a jump like this. Hold on. Look at me. I'm trying to break the game. Oh, whatever. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Indieverse. The game I was playing is called Switch or Die Trying, and you can get it from Steam for 10 bucks or $9.99. The link for the game will be in my description below, so if you want to check it out yourself, go ahead and check it out. But anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Yoga.